I just received this uh, 2023 Spider Farmer SF1000 Grow Light. Let's take a quick look at it because they've really improved the product and I'll show you the highlights. We'll look at the total watts that it uses as well as some heat readings and we'll take a look at what it can grow as well as the PPFD maps and what you could expect to grow in terms of small plants and also big plants. If you're curious how this was all boxed and came in, it's quite a sturdy box. We'll just turn this upside down and gently slide everything out. Foam, a manual, killer graphics. Very simple to lift and take apart. There is a set of light hangers as well as a cord that looks like it's for daisy chaining because you could actually connect up to 60 of these lights together. One of the things about uh, the, the Spider Farmer SF1000 redesign is they've rearranged the diodes to give more even coverage. They're not evenly spaced. And that is fantastic because when you're growing, you don't want to burn the center of your plants. You want to have an even blanket of light across the top. On the back side, uh, LED driver. One other thing about the diodes, I've noticed that uh, these are the LM301B uh, Samsung diodes. These are quality diodes. And it has a protective uh, coating over the top to help protect from moisture. You could actually detach this driver if you like. It would uh, allow you to separate it from the board. This metal board is a heat sink and that's why you don't need a fan because the heat from the uh, diodes, it's not great, but it dissipates across the top of this into your grow tent. The thing that I almost insist on anymore, all LED lights come with a dimmer knob. You could dial your light specifically for each plant type that you're growing, or you can use the lower settings for clones and seedlings, use a little higher setting for young plants that are in a vegetative stage, and a higher setting for plants that are in flower. The uh, Spider Farmer, SF1000 is a 100 watt grow light. Now, let me start out by saying that I have grown a lot of plants under 100 watt LED lights. They're very efficient. I've grown massive summer squashes, huge tomato plants, uh, cucumbers, super hot peppers. So I'm very satisfied that in a two foot by two foot grow space, that this light is going to absolutely do wonderful for me. It's a combination of white, red, blue, and infrared. Now it's at full strength right now, and full strength actually reads a little under 100 watts, 96.1. Now I did let this light run for a while to warm up. Currently this is 80%, and I'm getting 88.89 watts pulled at 80%. So let's take it down to 60%. It takes just a, a second or two for the wattage to stabilize. And at 60%, I'm pulling 57.89 watts. At 40%, I am pulling 37.37 watts. So let's take it down to 20% and see where that takes us. 21.29 watts at 20%. There is a setting on the dial for minimum and minimum is right prior to turning the light completely off. It's actually 12.89 watts on minimum. Why all those settings? Plants, when you first start seeding plants, the seedlings to week two usually take about 150 to 250 PPFD. Week two to four, about 300 to 375, week four to five, up around 550 to uh, 650, and then about week six onward through fruiting, flowering, you can go up higher. Uh, I would suggest that with a lot of vegetables, you could even get fantastic results around the range of 600 to 700 PPFD. What you'll want to do is use a PPFD to 
daily light integral calculator, which you could find on the web. So daily light integral is often abbreviated as DLI. So you'll feed in the average PPFD of this light, the desired DLI, and you could find uh, ratings for plants online. You know, for your particular growing area, you may find that during the summer, you're hitting around anywhere from 25 to 40 uh, on the uh, DLI or daily light integral scale. With this particular grow light at 12 inch hanging height, it averages about uh, 517.6 PPFD, a little warmer in the center, 14 inches above the canopy. You're looking at uh, 499.68 average uh, PPFD, and it starts to get a little bit more even spread over a two foot by two foot area. 18 inches above the canopy, you're still getting 448.64 average PPFD, very evenly blanketed across the top. Now, based on my personal growing, I would probably run this at uh, 14 inches above canopy. I'm getting about 101.7 Fahrenheit, and that's coming in at 111.4. That might be a reason for you to uh, take the LED driver and uh, detach it uh, from the board and maybe uh, suspend it, hang it, or wall mount it. And that will help to uh, reduce the heat a little bit if you're not looking for that type of heat. However, what you're gonna find is that with about 100 watts in most grow areas over plants with the infrared uh, LED diodes as well, that is going to fuel the growth of that plant to become a little bit more faster growing. You probably will not see any negatives uh, from that level of heat. In the future, I'm going to be doing some grow tests with the Spider Farmer SF1000. I just wanted to give you a fresh look at what has just come out in 2023 in terms of the lights redesign.